Take one is specialized in mocap shooting, motion capture data processing, including tracking, animation, developing, modeling, and also rigging, solving, and editing. Uh, their capture stage is actually among the largest in Europe, and with dozens of Vicon cameras, they are able to reach highest standards and most demanding animation requirements. Uh, how do they work with Unreal? Their founder and lead animator, uh, among other things, uh, will tell us. Welcome, Slobodan Danilovic. After such a nice introduction, I can't wait to hear myself, you know. <laughs> so, uh, just a quick introduction with what we do. Uh, we are an animation studio that's founded back in 2012. And uh, aside from doing animation, we are actually trying to find the solutions for all the productions that are doing animation, you know. So, I, I'm trying to skip all the things that we, done, uh, that we did because I don't have nearly enough time to present everything we worked on. So I just kind of put these bombastic things that we worked on. And what we did here is kind of complete animation pipeline from pre-production to uh, developing previses, shooting motion capture, processing motion capture, and actually implementing all of that into these games. Aside from these games, we worked in cinematics and cinematic industry. So uh, basically, everything you saw from Sava, uh, his own work was done also in Take One. And uh, with the help of Take One, we collaborate closely. Uh, we are trying to collaborate with, uh, let's say, indie studios as well as AAA productions and everything like that, because I think that both need solutions for animation. So what I'm going to talk about today is uh, some of the pipelines we developed to help find the solutions for these productions. The first one will be remote, real-time, full performance motion capture. Just to clarify a bit, when we say full performance motion capture, that means recording body movements, face, sound, everything, virtual camera, etc. And doing this in real-time is a wow effect, because you can imagine. And if somebody from Tokyo can be present remotely and see everything live and real inside of Unreal being streamed through Zoom or whatever else, that's something that's wow, in my opinion, and probably in the opinion everyone who actually participated in remote sessions, which is a solution that we made using the Unreal Engine. The second thing is uh, I'm going to present and just briefly talk about uh, <coughs> a little super useful tool uh, that we uh, developed. It's nothing super complex or fancy. It's something that allows you to transfer the animation from your iPhone, uh, your facial mocap from iPhone. I suppose some of you know that there's a LiveLink face app that can capture your face and that you can transfer to MetaHumans in Maya with one click with this little tool that we made. Uh, the third thing I would like to talk about is a little pipeline we developed for uh, some uh, short trailers that we did uh, that enabled us to do per shot lightning in Unreal, which is also kind of cool. And the fourth topic is the idea I would like to share with you uh, because, you know, when you put an idea out, it kind of begins its own life. And uh, one of the reasons why we are looking for these solutions and being, uh, you know, a part of these many productions is inspiring people. And I think the Unreal Engine itself is kind of inspiring a lot of things which you could see through all these presentations. 
So let's skip to this remote real-time full performance capture. I'm going to play a little video which will showcase how this looks like on set, how this looks like on set. So I'm not going to bother you a lot. All of this is going to present, be presented here. Hello, so, my name is Danilo. I'm co-founder of Take One, and I would like to give you a short presentation of our remote motion capture session capabilities. We have set up here our actor, Lazar Djukic, for full performance capture. We are capturing his body movement, finger animation, facial expressions, and recording his voice. For facial expression, we are currently using an HMC setup with an iPhone. His whole performance is being streamed in real time into Unreal. We are also using virtual camera that's being mocapped and streamed in, into Unreal. And the feed from Unreal is being streamed back to virtual cam so that we can have a live preview. Aside from this virtual camera, we are also using overview cameras. And for the overview cameras, we are using six cams, four of which are fixed on the walls of the studio, and these four are combined in quad single view. We also have two mobile cameras that we can walk with on the set and look for angles and do close-ups, etc. These six overview cameras together with virtual cam are being streamed to VideoMix. VideoMix operator can choose which of these four views are being streamed to Zoom to our remote director, in this case, our dear colleague, Cole. Hi, Cole. Hello, Danilo. So at any moment, Cole can choose which overview cam he would like to see, or if he would like to see live stream from our virtual cam. OK, so imagine Cole being in Tokyo. And uh, I've, I've cut this video. There's another segment of his impressions, uh, how, uh, how he experienced as a remote director this mocap session. And that's showing off a lot. So yeah, he was not in Tokyo, by the way. So uh, you saw a part where uh, an iPhone was fixed on the HMC head-mounted camera and picking uh, facial expressions from Lazar Djukic, our actor. Uh, and uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the tool for uh, this real-time transfer. Actually, not real-time transfer, but this is a one-click, sort of one-click transfer. So the tool, th this here is a, let's say, pro version of the tool. Basically, this is all the steps that you need. Once you record the animation with the iPhone, you download it to your computer. You have a folder which contains the MOV video and the CSV files and some other files. So here you just pick that folder. Uh, these presets are for the, for the pro version. And then our tool actually evaluates the video and the audio in the video and automatically syncs because the audio and video in that file, in that MOV file, are not synced. Uh, audio kind of starts a bit offset. So the tool automatically syncs this and creates a plate, loads the video here, and with one button, bake animation, you can transfer the animation to the MetaHuman rig, which is kind of very cool. With these presets, these are some extra options that we, are, uh, that we developed, but I don't have time to explain that now. Very soon, probably next week, you can download this from our website, and I hope two million users will use it <laughs> to, to kind of test the, the things from iPhone. 
this uh, cinematic first shot lightning, what we developed here, again, this is for inspiration. And this only works if you have a linear editing, which means that your shots do not overlap with the action. So if you have linear shots, I wanted to make control so that when I switch to a new shot, my whole lightning changes. So I can develop a lightning per shot, which is kind of something that you want to do. Instead of creating a single map for everything or something like that, I just wanted, and it's simple. We created lightning levels that we nested in the main level so that you see here when you switch the shots, the lights uh, switch as well. And this is actually, for some of you who cannot see, the lightning levels are uh, maps that actually only have lights inside. So this was kind of something that was so easily done, we called it the violin pipeline. You know, it's a violin, you only have to play it. So this was something that, that was really fun and easy to set up. And it's a very, very useful pipeline for per shot lightning if you have linear uh, editing. And the most important part, ideas, uh, we had an idea uh, last year when we started doing a in-house project, because we do a lot of in-house projects to test the ideas. Uh, we started doing a short movie uh, in which I immediately wanted to implement something that I saw the industry lacks. And that's a pipeline for editing facial animation in a lighted scene, so that you can actually edit the animation in Maya and be able to preview that in uh, real time in Unreal, which is possible. And I'm very sorry that I didn't have the time to present that here, but my time is already up. So uh, let's, let's say let, let that inspire everybody to kind of try and find the solutions for that, because it's something that would be really valuable for the industry to have this. You saw when Sava was talking uh, an hour ago, how much that is important to be able to have everything in real time and to be able to animate in real time and see the facial animation affected by lightning because lightning changes facial animation completely is something really, really valuable. Okay, thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. I hope everybody gets inspired. <laughs>